Welcome back to Cities Clients 2 in the city of Riverdale. And today is the day where we start bringing more population into the region and start expanding the area that we've built for the Education Hub in the last episode. So one of the things that I want you to do, uh, other than adding another bus depot, because this one is completely full and some buses like all the time is 45 and they go down when there is some just going for maintenance but we need another one to capture all these new lines that we've done but looking into this what i will want to do is basically expand this area further into this i might bring like all these tiles in here already because i'm pretty sure that i want to work on that and then i want to improve the land a little bit we don't need these all that high in here and i'm pretty sure that i can make something nice in there also that's probably not where we will spend today i'm feeling i like we will start working on this left area in here and what we do this area i will try to keep it everything between low and mid density and i'll bring some jobs in the area as well like commercial and some offices and for that i believe we need to bring some yeah some internet over there as well and obviously some mail and all that sort of stuff this would be really good in here so i'll take a look at the bus station i'll work on this terrain and then i'll start laying out the the roads in there so we can have a a nice area and a kind of a quick starter for our build in here so let's jump into it and i'll be right back So there's a lot of people moving into this area and we are getting a little bit of traffic but now it's starting to get all sorted. We still have a little bit in here and there is still a little bit in this area. There's a new connection that I've added but actually this has cleared up quite nicely already. It's just these now that will go through as soon as those trains get past and yeah there we go. So this is all sorted still a little bit well not anymore in here as well all sorted so new connections to this area this is what we had before i've connected in here connected in there and the new recycling center in here and the new bus uh, depot in there so bus issues are sorted also added a new train to line number two in there as we had over 1700 people waiting on this station now it's all more manageable and as you can see we do have 2000 people waiting in here i think that'll be line one now i think we are all good yeah all right that that's interesting is that where are they going maybe they are going out as well which could be something or the subway line yes we may need some more let's take a look at this and get a couple more vehicles assigned to this so we can help people move along it's quite a lot of people using public transportation and i'm quite happy about that but this area right so in terms of terrain this is kind of what we've done in here so we can start going up there and actually using some of these areas i've stopped in here we still have this area that i call the wall and <laughs> and we can still work our way towards that but yeah there'll be still going up and up quite a lot in here so i think yeah it's still a lot further up there in here so we have to still have this kind of stair ish way of going up there i believe this will stay as it is as a another wall in here 
and we won't build anything over there, but we will do this. I've added a new transformer station here because power was uh, bottlenecking in a couple of areas because of this area and this area, so that will help us. And then made some new connections. Well, just this new connection in here and this one we already had. So what we have in this area, other than people complaining about not having access in here, let's redo it. So we have some signature buildings. As you can see, all our signature buildings are now placed. We have the activity plaza, we have the figura building, we have the fashion square, and I think we had another one in there. Let's see if we can find that out. This one, the Ludo Square, which is a corner building, and I thought it would be quite nice in here. But these buildings are quite nice. I think they fit really well and provide, in some cases like this one, a bit of a mix from the old style looking for this, this medium density, and also brought like some interesting things into the mix in here. Added some other parks, community pool, large city park, and things like that. I've done some parking, medium parking lots in here as well, which we can certainly increase the price as they are all full and being utilized in here. So all these buildings are mixed density, by the way, uh, except for this block in here, they are all residential, everything else are mixed density. So it's a big mix in this area. But how does this change our statistics in here? Oh, by the way, a new elementary school that's already full, as you, you would think. But balance, it's quite good at the moment in terms of education, as you can see. And in terms of unemployment, I think this went down, now went up again, but we're still a lot lower than where we started over here. So as you can see, going down quite a lot. I think we're finding again that balance and looking at how things will stabilize and then we understand that and then we build a little bit more again. In terms of population growth, as you can see, big boost by adding those buildings in there, mostly moved in. So that is all good. And the last thing that I want to see in here are the education stats. As you can see, poorly educated and educated citizens went up quite a lot, followed by well-educated, uneducated and highly educated, which is good to see this going up as this brings more demand for offices. Which, by the way, let's move over here. We had quite a big demand for offices in here and some spots available, and now those are all filled in. And yes, we do have this because I just put the new um, recycling center, so we need to wait a little bit before this all gets collected. But as you can see, several trucks come into this area and hopefully this will be sorted in no time at all. So get it done just doing the, the rounds over here. I just want to see if we get from that one or if they just go past that as they sometimes do, you know. There you go. Are you collecting garbage from there? I hope you are. Yes, there you go. We can see that this is starting to be resolved. Very good. Um, traffic there, yeah, that's sorted. We have a little bit now from the other side, but I think we can... They, they don't have many options and having the train in there, the crossing doesn't really add quite a lot or help quite a lot but as it's contained i will keep it that way for now everything else seems to be working well traffic in here plenty of roundabouts on these roads because we do have these um no true roads in here so i thought better to do this this is entering the area as well so and this one too so i thought yeah this will help and this indeed helped us out 
But we're now with 9,000 people. We've reached Metropolis along the way, which is quite nice. We have still 113 tiles to buy and 51 points to use. I've unlocked the post sorting facility, as I noticed while doing the post office in here, that every single thing is actually red at the moment. So I'm thinking that we need to add this. So I don't know when or where, but this needs to go in very, very soon to help us sort this out before we distribute the mail. This is becoming quite a problem and we have to sort that out. So, but that'll be sorted another time. For today, we have this really nice area in here. We've increased our population a lot. We're starting to expand. We left the terrain in a way that we can use. And I can't wait to see all this area being populated and filled in. So let me know what you want to see in this area as we grow it. Do we, we have to be careful in here because we do have the industry and wind is actually going this way. So we do have some air pollution in there. Yeah. So maybe we will have to use these for services like I've done with the bus depot in this area. We might use that in there and keep building over here. So we will see how that all goes. But again, let me know what you think and what we make build in this waterfront in here as well. And I'll be more than happy to do that for you. For now, thank you a lot and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.